up and roll in your gold and then put it in a display case and watch you pick it up and put it on your finger and just know that that gold touched my butt. <laughs> Good, okay. I want to try that one out. Uh, <laughs> coming up next to the stage, please welcome the very funny Dante Ferguson. What's up, y'all? So I got. Uh, I want to talk about something that happened to me today. I walked to a 7-Eleven today, right? I didn't see any 7-Eleven employees or any customers in 7-Eleven. So I thought to myself, do God want me to steal right now? <laughs> so I get to that item I'm about to shoplift. As soon as I put my hand on, a 7-Eleven employee come out the back and say, excuse me, sir, you need help with anything? I know, so I had to bullshit like I was on my phone and say, hey, yo, I got the Skittles. If you don't want the Skittles, I put them back. You sure you don't want the Skittles? All right, cool, I'm putting the Skittles back. Can I get three on pump five, please? I'm joking, y'all, yeah, I'm joking, I'm joking. Can I get five on pump three, please? Can we all agree that if you order a pizza from 7-Eleven, your life is kind of shitty? I hate when people order that pizza, man, because nine times out of 10, when they order that pizza, they want to use debit. They always want to swipe and use debit. It really ticks me off. So I got this thing now, when you swipe and use debit, I had to get real close to you, right, and whisper in your ear, interesting set of numbers. <laughs> I see you in the parking lot. I enjoy a cheese pizza. So I beat a stereotype, y'all. I got a job. That's what's up. I wish somebody would have told me growing up that looking for a job would be one of the hardest things I would ever have to do. Because it's getting, it's getting real stupid out there, ladies and gentlemen. I was filling out the job application, right? I got to page six. Page six. One of the questions on page six was, can you read? <laughs> like, I mean, it came this far. Why is that even a question? <laughs> it's whatever. I hate the online questions too because they get like real personal. They always ask your race. I'm not dumb. I put other. <laughs> now they got this new thing when you put other, this icon will pop up and it'll say, Can you explain? <laughs> now I type in it, you'll see when I get there. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when I actually get to the job interview because that's when it gets really, really dumb. They ask you questions like, so, Mr. Ferguson, what makes you want to work for our company? Do y'all know how bad I want to keep it real with them? Be like, shit. <laughs> Heard y'all on piss test and y'all pay good. What's up? <laughs> you know, background checks, what? <laughs> everybody about this job. <laughs> I hate questions like, so, Mr. Ferguson, what are your weaknesses? You're a super villain or something? Why you need to know my weaknesses for man? <laughs> but the number one question, the number one question that grind my gears are, where do you see yourself in the next five years? Y'all get that? Where do you see yourself in the next five years? No. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about y'all, but me, I allow my applications, for example, when the education part, I put Yale instead of Harvard. So sometimes I gotta... <laughs> sometimes I gotta think, what can I have said for them to think? that I'm a psychic, and I just said, you know what, you got me. If I put in a special skill section, I'm a psychic, I lied, I wanted the job. Because I don't believe psychics, ladies and gentlemen, because every time I ride around this Hampton Roads area, and I see them signs that says 1-800-PSYCHIC, I call them, and I make appointments. And when I show up to them appointments, I have like a stack of empty lottery tickets in both hands. So as you can tell, and look at my bullshit ass car, I don't believe in psychics. But I tell you what I do believe in, I believe in ninjas. Oh, yeah. yeah, hell yeah. And I believe they're in the United States of America and they have jobs. You know where they work at? Chinese takeout restaurants. <laughs> you know what they do there? They're the ones responsible for putting the Chinese takeout menu on your door and your window. Because think about this. <laughs> you came home from work early and you see the mailman put the mail in the mailbox, but you never seen that Asian person karate ninja that menu on your door and your window. If you have, talk to me after the show, we can rap. I need more Asian friends in my life, man. I want to smoke weed with an Asian person and see what their eyes do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I'd be> dope. 
<laughs> Am I the only person in here that hesitate to fight an Asian person because in the back of their mind they know that they know karate, some type of form? I don't know, I blame TV for that one. Alright, this is my last Asian joke, y'all. <laughs> is it me? I'm just, it's maybe just me. I've never seen an Asian family with a family pet. <laughs> So before I got a job, before I had a job, I used to do a little bit of hustling. I used to hustle. Got these little works, you know, things I was working on. I got this one thing. It was called the toll curtain. Cause I know y'all sick and tired of these tolls, or y'all know somebody that's got to deal with these tolls. So with that being said, I've created the toll curtain. Now what I do is I go to your license plate and I install this curtain on your license plate. So when you approach the tunnel, you hit a button, it'll cover your license plate, and when you get out, you hit a button, it'll uncover. It. Yeah. You can thank me now or thank me later, but it's whatever. I'm selling them one for fourteen ninety five, and I'm selling two for twenty. The only thing is, you get caught, you don't know who I am. <laughs> this other hustle I had going on, I was writing them for Thanksgiving songs because, like right now, nobody in this building can name two Thanksgiving songs. Anybody? Exactly. I'm about to flood the industry by storm. I got this one song dropping this November. It's called Don't Jive Me, You Turkey. <laughs> My last little hustle I had going on, I'm still going to go through with it. I was going to open up this shop where I sold nothing but backs. Huh? What? I got you. Nothing but backs. Backs to earrings, backs to cell phones, backs to remote control, backs to baby ribs, all type of miscellaneous backs. Yes, yes. It's a gold mine. Hey, we got a jingle for it. If you're missing your back, come on down to Backspace, because Jonte got your back. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Woo. So, I really need to get a bank, because I'm, I'm getting tired of uh, cashing my check at Walmart. Yeah. Oh. Word, right? Have you ever seen the line of people oh, that cash their check at Walmart? Like the uh, suspects from First 48. <laughs> And I hate the per I always hate the teller that works at the Walmart cash place because they always count your money too loud. Like, imagine this is the teller, right? And y'all behind me waiting in line. She always be like, I'm like, here's my check. And she be like, okay, here you go, Mr. Ferguson. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 550, 600, 650, 700, dollars Good luck. So um, I'm doing stand-up comedy because I'm one day trying to be famous. And um, I want to be famous so I can actually leak naked pictures of myself <laughs> and act outraged about it. Because it's not cool when you're like normal and you just leak your naked pictures. People don't want that shit. <laughs> Y'all like, se like sending nude pictures? I like doing that. I hate when girls like send me pictures because I really can't participate a lot because I have this problem where when I try to send a picture of my penis, I always get this message back on my phone that said, images are too large to send, so I go, I'm serious, I, I'm serious. <laughs> Growing up, dealing with women, I realized for a fact that if a woman asks you to see your penis, you gotta show them. I was at Food Line the other day. <laughs> Old lady, like, you know what I'm saying? She rolled up on me. She was like, How you doing, young man? I was like, I'm doing fine. She said, Well, can you help me get this water? You look strong. I was like, Oh, I look strong. I am strong. Put the water in a little cart and stuff, right? She's like, Oh, you do? You are strong. Um, let me see your penis. <laughs> I said, Excuse me? She said, Oh, my bad. Um, let me see your dick. <laughs> Leave me over there by the frozen meat, I got you. <laughs> and thank y'all for listening to me. My name is John St. Burks, and y'all can't say John St. Ferguson. Trying to be famous.